Hi everyone, welcome back. The topic we are going to study in this video is routing information protocol. So one of the protocol implemented in intradomain network systems that is inside an organization uh, in between several autonomous system how packet is actually transmitted from source to destination and this RIP routing information protocol is actually implementation of distance vector algorithm where we use Bellman Ford equation to find the shortest path when a packet is to be transmitted from source to destination the shortest path is to be determined so this distance vector algorithm we have seen in the previous lecture series is actually used to find a shortest path uh, using Bellman Ford equation see the autonomous systems for example there is an institute uh, with several branches and each branch has a uh, different local area networks connected so one institute may be the autonomous system one another branch is actually another autonomous system so the communication inside the organization uh, in a group single group in intra domain this is this protocol is implemented and to find a shortest path when a packet is to be forwarded from source to destination and the metric here in routing information protocol is hop count so hop count is nothing but uh, number of networks uh, the packet actually travels through when it is forwarded from source to destination because the router in a network system has to know how to forward a packet the algorithm is actually implemented as uh, the first one the router has to advertise the cost of reaching different networks the cost means as soon as the system is started uh, the routers are booted initial informations are collected by all the individual routers connected in the intranet system and the next step is uh, based on number of hops uh, when a packet travels through from source to destination the best route is selected so number of networks are actually meant here as number of hops let us see how hop count is actually calculated see here uh, four networks are shown say that is connected in intranet system and all four networks are connected with the help of uh, uh, three routers r1 r2 and r3 so when a packet is to be transmitted from source network to the destination network that is from n1 to n4 hop is no nothing but number of networks actually the packet travels through the hop count at uh, router 1 is so when a packet travels from the source while calculating the hop count source network is not considered because it is generating and transmitting the packet and network one has to have a forwarding table to transmit a packet and the count is actually calculated in router one as next uh, from n2 n3 and n4 three networks uh, up to the destination so the hop count is three and at router 2 the hop count is next uh, two routers that is n3 and the destination n4 so the hop count is two two numbers of networks and for n3 only one network that is destination so hop count is one so when the system is started and uh, stabilized stabilized means initially uh, routing tables are preparing their own information with the adjacent neighbors and sharing the information the forwarding table in all routers are actually prepared for the packet to transmit from a source to destination looking into this forwarding table for r1 see when the packet is to be transmitted from router 1 to the destination n3 and three mandatory fields are to be there in forwarding table that is destination network next router and cost in hops so cost in hops nothing with number of networks see here uh, destination network uh, contains based on it is classful or classless classless means the subnet mask should also be there and see when a packet is to be transmitted from uh, router 1 to the destination network n3 the packet has to travel through the next router r2 the when a destination is n3 that no, router the packet has to travel through r2 and number of networks up to the destination is n2 and n3 so the cost in hops is 2 this is how all routers are preparing their own table when the system is stabilized the routing information protocol has a maximum of 15 hop count actually so the example we have seen has four networks in case if we implement routing information protocol in an intra network and uh, the limitation in routing information protocol is it is 
supporting only maximum of 15 networks that is half count is 15 and more than 15 the half count 16 is considered as infinite there are two versions in routing information protocol version 1 and version 2 here version 1 actually supports classful and version 2 can support classless routing protocol if an IP is given uh, with is with slash n notation this slash n is actually representing prefix so subnet mask and this version 1 uh, because it supports only classful case it does not consider slash n notation but in version 2 RIP version 2 it supports classless routing protocol so the classless case and the subnetting is possible here when the packet forwarding is to be controlled that should not be forwarded to the unknown routers the authentication is actually helping uh, to control a forwarding in version 1 there is no authentication it does not support the authentication but in version 2 it, it supports authentication and by default auto summarization is enabled we cannot disable uh, auto summarization so manual summarization is not possible in version 1 but uh, in this case manual summarization by disabling the auto summarization the network information can be summarized here and version 1 using broadcast to uh, send a packets but in version 2 it supports multicast to send a packet and in order to uh, implement uh, the routing information protocol in intra network the message format is to be understood actually this diagram is showing the message format of routing information protocol and these fields are actually entry uh, we will see one by one that is uh, the first field first eight bits are actually command command are nothing but two commands are there uh, from client to the server that is request and response the request may be of uh, uh, requesting only a particular field or it may request a complete fields and the response is actually two way one is solicited response and another one is unsolicited response in solicited response when there is a request in that time only there will be a response and in case of so unsolicited case for every 30 seconds periodically the response is updated that is for every 30 seconds otherwise whenever there is a change in forwarding table uh, the response is updated and next 8 bit of actually version which version of RIP is here and remaining 16 bits are actually reserved for future purpose and this will say is the family of the protocol the value of 2 uh, representing TCP IP protocol so and this tag is actually giving the information about the autonomous system because the packet transmission is actually in between different autonomous systems and rest all other fields say network address and subnet mask and next hop address and distance are nothing but it is similar to the first row information in a forwarding table that is network address and subnet mask in the first column of a forwarding table and how the packet is to be transmitted what is the next router and what will be the distance to reach the destination so RIP algorithm is implemented as, as soon as the system is started routers are gathering the information with the adjacent neighbors and all routers are going to share the vector information to adjacent neighbors but in this case the slight modification is rather sending only uh, the vectors here in real time system it has to send whole contents of the forwarding table that is the destination network and uh, next router and hop number hop and the receiver will uh, change the next root field based on number of hops and the hop to each cost based on the following cases actually here if the received root does not exist after the information is shared it is analyzing the information in the shared table and if the received root does not exist uh, then and the new root is included in the routing table also if the cost of the received root is lower than the old one then it should be updated to the new one and in third case uh, if the cost of the received root is higher than the cost of the old one but the value of next router is same as the both routes the received root should be selected as the new one which means so this is the case actually uh, when your root was actually advertised by the same router in the past uh, say that time uh, when it was advertising the cost is 3 but later there is no path between the neighbor and the destination so the neighbor advertising the destination with the cost infinity because there is no path the cost is infinity 
and the receiver router should not avoid the value even though the infinity is higher than the previous value 3 it should not avoid and that should be updated to new one and finally the, the forwarding table needs to be sorted according to a uh, new destination route so on the whole the routing information uh, rather sending only vector details the whole information the forwarding tables are shared and based on these three cases the routing table is updated let us see one example of an autonomous system using a routing information protocol. Here the objective is to find the shortest path when a packet is to be transmitted from source to destination. And metric here actually we see, consider here are number of hops. hops see the networks here N1 to N6 are connected with the routers R1 to R4. Four routers are connecting these six networks so as soon as the system is started all routers r1 r2 r3 and r4 are preparing that network information along with the neighbor edges and neighbors here the forwarding table of r1 contains the information of network 1 and network 2 and network 3 with the cost the same way router 2 will have their adjacent neighbor details that is n3 n4 and n5 and next all routers are going to share their information to the adjacent router see here uh, r2 the network information the router 2 is seen by router 1 and router 1 will look after the information there in router 2 forwarding table and new forwarding table of r1 will guide a packet to transmit to the destination n5 and n4 because the adjacent networks to router 2 are actually n4 and n5 say for example when a packet is to be transmitted from router 1 to network uh, say n4 in the old table we don't have the entry for n4 so it looks into the shared information by r2 and n4 is there so the destination is and in the new table it is updating as a destination is n4 and the packet has to travel through the router 2 so router 2 is given as a next router and the cost is the network the packet and the cost is packet has to travel through the network n3 and the destination n4 the cost is by the same way the entries are updated for uh, a packet to travel to the network n5 that is the updates are done in new forwarding table of r1 so finally all routers are updating their forwarding table so as soon as the system this whole system is stabilized all routers r1 r2 r3 r4 are having the complete uh, destination network and next router and number of hops count updated in new table so each router actually having uh, the following timers in a uh, routing information protocol the first one is periodic timer and expiration timer and third one is garbage collection timer so time set in periodic timer is 25 to 30 seconds that is a random uh, set between 25 to 35 is uh, estimated and expiration is 180 seconds garbage collection is 120 seconds so in periodic timer it is actually controlling the advertising of regular update message so when for example when it sets to the time 26 seconds it counting down it starts counting down and when it reaches zero timer is reset so that it can control the advertising for regular update and this expiration so if there is no update or problem in internet and because uh, 180 seconds are set to uh, expiration timer so it will wait for 180 seconds and starts counting down when it reaches zero the timer reset uh, during no updation and the problem the route is set to 16 that is infinity in garbage collection that refines the route actually when uh, for 120 seconds uh, when the information about uh, route actually becomes invalid it wait for the time set and the time is actually set to 120 seconds so that it continues to advertise the route as infinity for the uh, invalid route and when it reaches zero it's the time is reset and new route is updated so these three timers in routing information protocols are useful to update the information periodically and if there is no update time set is expired and reset after 180 seconds and if there is invalid route the router will refine the information uh, and the time set is 120 seconds so this is about routing information protocol uh, implementing the distance vector algorithm and the metric here is the hop count 
and this is actually uh, used to find the shortest path from source to destination to forward a packet but it is limited to 50 number of hop counts thank you